Now we're going to test clicking on a, a position in the recycler view. Now um, with clicking for the recycler view with the new um, uh, recycler view actions when you do a click it actually scrolls to that position for you. It's actually really handy. I like actually doing that. So let's try and do that. So we have to do on view matchers that with ID. We know view matchers that with ID or that ID that recycler view. Here we want to perform recycler view actions dot action on item position. Action on item at position. I'm just gonna do fifty. And view actions dot do a regular click. Let's kind of clean this up a little bit. There we go. Now, as you can see, it scrolled to that automatically. Um, and a reason why you would want to um, separate these is if you don't want to click on it, you just want to get the information from that um, position. So you just want to scroll to that position so if you want to just get the information from that that row in your recycler view and you don't want to click on it you you just want it to just appear so you can get the information you would scroll to it and if you want to click on it and actually do the action you would click on it and you can do other things like a long click as well um, I, you won't really see a difference but you can long click as well now the benefits of this overdoing um, on data, I believe it's called, is you actually get to have a human like interaction more because um, you should be seeing the recycler view just like how the human touches the phone. They can only see what's on the screen and I believe that's how you should test as well for espresso. And that's it.